Hello friends, back again with another tutorial. In this tutorial, how to install Linux terminal. So that is Ubuntu terminal on Windows 10. So now you can use the Linux terminal. It's a Ubuntu terminal on your Windows 10 PC. So couple of method you can follow. One either method will definitely help you install. So the very first method, you can see here you have a start icon. So you just have to go to the start and then you're going to choose settings. From the settings, you're going to choose update and security. From update and security, for developer you are going to enable it developer mode click on yes now it's going to take some time to install some features so if you have to restart your computer you can restart just enable it so once you have enabled it just go back you can just close it once you have successfully enabled it, you're going to press Windows and R key in your keyboard that will open this run. Or you can just go to the search and type run. Here's the run desktop app. You can just open it. And you're going to type appwiz.cpl. Okay guys, here it is. I hope it is visible. It's appwiz.cpl. So you're going to type it right over here and click on OK. So this will open this. Windows features. Program and features. Here you have turn features on and off. Right over here. Turn Windows features on and off. Click on it. So once you click on it, it will open this turn windows features on and off. So you can check it down over here on the uh, taskbar. So it might not pop up. So sometimes you're going to see it in a taskbar when you click on it. Now you just have to scroll it down. When you scroll it down, you're going to see windows subsystem for Linux. Just check this box. Once you check that box, windows subsystem for Linux. Check that box. You can see it. Windows subsystem for Linux. Once you check that box, click on OK. It will take some time to complete the process. Once the process is completed, you just have to restart your computer. So now you're going to restart your computer. When you restart your computer, you wanna go to the search and you're gonna type bass. This B A S S bass. Now you can run the commands. Open run as an administrator. So the bass is only your Windows Linux terminal. Uh, it's a Linux terminal for Windows 10. So when you run this command, it might execute some of the commands automatically it will ask you for the permission you're gonna type yes and then you're gonna close it and then you're gonna open the bash again so every time you want to use the use the terminal you're gonna open the bash so this is the first method but in this latest version of windows sometime you're gonna see some of the issue so when you try to run the bash as an administrator it shows that it is running but you won't run Sometimes you get a problem like this. So the second easiest method, if it really works for you guys, you can just enjoy it because this is really very helpful and it's a really working method. But because of the some of the issue in the latest version of the Windows, in my latest version of the Windows 10, it is not giving the, it's just not running the properly. So you can see like this. So if it works, this is the way how you can use the Linux terminal. Now just let me show you the second easiest way. The second easiest way is you just go to the app store. So guys on the search section you're gonna type Linux and 
you can type Linux and click on search and then you can click here click on get the app and then click on this Ubuntu and then click on get to install so click on no thanks if you don't want to sign in or if you want to sign in you can just sign in click on install again it asks you to sign in so you can just uh, skip this and you can see it's downloading now you can see app is ready to launch you can launch from here or you can go to the source and you're gonna type Ubuntu you can see it's Ubuntu you can open run as an administrator pin to start pin to tax bar it's app setting so run as an administrator and here you have it is installing just for it will take a few minutes here you have the Ubuntu terminal okay guys in a few seconds you're gonna see this you can give any username let's say I'm giving the username as it's okay press enter in a few seconds it can ask you for the password so you can give any password so you can see the password is invisible when you type nothing is going to type over here you just have to enter the same password again so and press enter key you can see the password updated successfully and now you have all the way ready your terminal is all the way ready to use now you can start enjoying you can exit it and every time you have to open go to the search and you're gonna type Ubuntu so you can open the app even in a user mode you have an app setting if you have any kinds of issue you can see it's a Ubuntu if you forget your password or anything if you have any kinds of error you can just repair and reset your app you have a couple of options you can do you can reset or repair your app so guys if you like this tutorial be sure to hit the like button subscribe and comment and i'll catch you in the next video with another good stuff have a good day